You know, I seen Courtney over there. She looked like she wanted to spar, and you know, I always try to go light with her. But you it don't go light with anyone. It feels like she goes 100%. Like, I don't know, every time no. I go with a girl, it feels like they have to throw 100 at me. No one was throwing 100. I was being nice. I even started off southpaw for you, and I was like, nope, not doing that. He's going to go hard. Here you are, just going hard. Don't bop. keep your chin down. I'm bopping you up, girl. I think you just got mad. No one got mad until you started throwing hard. You threw oh, hard. I was not throwing hard. You were throwing hard. You're the only At the very beginning, I when you're like, you want to go, you can see the look on my face like, no, I don't want to go with you. Oh, here you go. Oh, man. Every time I go with you, you try to, try to kill me. No one's trying. I'm going nice. I'm going nice. You even saw me pull a the punch there. Look at that. You're trying to take my head off. No one's trying to take anyone's head off, except for you. And then I pull my punch, and then I'm, I go to throw an overhand because you keep your chin up. And I pull my punch, and then you molly walk me on the back of the head. It's coming. Watch. Wait for it. But, but watch when you throw so hard, you fall. I don't throw so hard. You, th you threw a, a check hook, and it was coming so quick, so I was like, geez, this guy's going hard. Yeah, I don't know. We we can't we can't really spar against each other because she's always trying to win. I'm not. No, you're always trying to win. That's the thing. You think everyone's trying to win against you? No one is. Everyone's just trying to work. And you want to go over there and show that you're. See, see look you at, Molly walking. Oh, look at you. Hold it, and you. I didn't fall. You put you. I hit you with I a check hook. No, I pulled my overhand, and you then you decided, and then you and then you hit me hard. I'm like, that was not hard. I'm not going with you. I'm not going if you're going hard. Oh, see, and then you it. get mad. I said I'm not even going hard. Because you don't think you go hard at all, ever. Yeah. See, look, you, all then, your power, and you fail. No, I'm just like, oh, you're ridiculous. Yeah. Big man ego all the time. Hater. <laughs> well, anyways, let's go on to this week. son to the gym um, you know uh, he gets to see me train and I get to spend more time with him but sometimes it's uh, a little difficult because you know on the way over he falls asleep and you know I, I want him to rest but I have to get in there and make sure I train and um, yeah, I just hate waking him up but you know I have to go in there and get the job done you know I have to put food on the table and uh, hopefully he understands. We checked out a couple daycares and when I went in there, all the kids had little snotty noses. So I was like, nah, I can't put them in here. So for right now, you know, in this fight camp, uh, I have to bring them with me. Uh, I wish we had daycare at the gym, but you know, the coaches are gonna have to help me with it if they want to, you know, help me uh, win this fight.
pushed to the limits today. My man Dan, thank you for the work. Dan fucked me up today. <laughs> he, he was my Darush for the day, and uh, you know, I got a lot to work on. We like to get out. Normally it's me and a king on our hikes, but Dre joined us today. It's something that we like to do together, but now that we have the pack and obviously King's a little bit older, we started taking him with us. We like to get him out since he's in the gym a lot and he's at the house a lot. We like to get out for a little bit, get him some fresh air, take him to the parks, but he really enjoys hiking. I mean, that's kind of when his little personality comes out. He talks a lot and it's, it's fun. It's fun to see him, you know, point at things and start talking about, you know, the cactuses and the horses. Um, we see a lot of stuff along the trail. Of course, rocks, because he loves rocks. But it's, it's a lot of fun to get out there, and it's quick and easy. It's right down the street from our house. Thunderbird is like an exit up. We can get it done within 30 minutes if we need to. Um, we can take our time and go up to the top and do a few other trails. So it gives us a little time to, to get some fresh air and just kind of recoup and uh, not really think about training and just kind of focus on, on each other and, and what our day is going to entail after our peaceful walks because it, it does get hectic in camp. So it's good to kind of just slow down and take in the fresh air and the scenery that we have. So I met Eddie at Siege MMA. Uh, it's one of my training partner, Kamala Clerk's gym. He owns it. You know, I try to get more acclimated to the, the right time at five o'clock. Start up with a couple rounds of jump roping. You know, we just warm up, uh, just getting the body ready, moving, making sure you know, I'm, I'm ready before me and Eddie start the hit mitts. Once me and Eddie start to hit, you know, we just get in the groove and, you know, it might not be everything I hit in the fight, it's just getting my eyes trained to, to the punches and the movement. And Eddie's a great coach. Um, I have him in my corner because I trust him with my life. I've been with him, I think, uh, maybe eight fights. I've never really taken a hard hit to the face. And I'll have to say that's because of his training and how he's, uh, he's taught me and the movement and how I look at the game now. Yeah, yeah I think this fight is going to be very important to, to get in and out with my, use my footwork, um, you know, not sit in front of this guy. So we, we're going to work on a lot of just, you know, getting my punches off, moving. Uh, bullying him, staying in his face, moving around, uh, trying not to get hit, return kicks. He's very good at returning kicks, making sure when he does, you know, I'm not, I'm the receiving end of uh, something big. It was a great workout. You know, we get in there and we get to work and I try to put 110% into the workout before I go home and then I can just rest and get ready for the next day. chocolate milk okay don't don't be telling your mom that I gave you this okay don't get me in trouble oh you see it oh yeah that's a lot of chocolate 
Do your chocolate dance. Chocolate dance, chocolate dance, chocolate dance, yeah, chocolate dance. E -e 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 chocolate dance. Oh, chocolate milk. Give me a kiss. Say thank you. Perfect. See a sign language. To egg? Good job. Can you say duck? Duck. What is it? Duck. Say duck. 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 Good job. Can you say... Duck. What's this one? Can you say ball? Duck. Ball. Can you say ball? Ball. Ball. I think you might know this one. Can you say dog? Like dog. Can you say dog? Dog? Dog. Umbrella. Umbrella, yeah. When it's raining outside, that's what you use. Umbrella. Umbrella. Do you remember, remember we went to the pumpkin patch? What is this? A pumpkin. Pumpkin. There's just a little bit of chocolate milk. I only gave him a couple M&M's. And a couple of M&M's and what did he eat for breakfast? Uh, eggs and blueberries and a squeezy. And a squeezy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Have you got a diaper change today? Ain't a boop. What do you mean, still? Ain't a boop. You've been gone for Thank almost you. two hours and no diaper change? He must have just peed. Oh, must have just peed. Yeah, he just peed. You smell like you've eaten a lot more. <laughs> just a few M&M's. Wait, what's a few? A few is like two. Like two is a few. Like a two to three. Yeah. And then like a handful. He had three. Like... He had three. Total. One right here and then two over there. Okay. And chocolate milk. I made this perfectly great drink. Matcha latte. Almond milk. And what do you say it tastes like, babe? That's that's honey, honey milk. Honey with milk. With a, a little bit of dirt, which would be the matcha. <laughs> Don't be hating. I mean, it wasn't bad. I'm just saying. What's the people at? Uh, uh, Starbucks. What are they called? But Bartistas. Bartistas. I'm a, I'm a Bartista. Bar, is that what it is? A barista. Barista. I don't know. Something Whatever the fuck they are. Starbucks. I'm people. one of them. I like I like uh, coffee bean way better though. I like this way better. I think I need to start my own business. Up. We gotta get you that little bamboo whisk though. Yeah, because it was kind of hard just doing it with my hand. But she always hating on me. You know, I'm I, ma I make good things. Don't ask, don't ask me for my opinion, and I tell you my opinion, and then you get mad about my own opinion. That's not hating. That's giving my opinion. That's why you're sitting in the back right now. Did you know? I know. Thank you for driving me, Miss Daisy. <laughs> uh, jokes, huh? But we're on our way to the boxing gym right now with Coach Allen. Probably just get a couple rounds in because I'm feeling a little beat today. 